Good morning, my brother, and welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Question, how many of you are husbands out there? How many years have you been married? Two, three, four? Anybody over 20? Maybe over 30? Over 40? Mr. Countryman and his lovely wife, Marcia, just celebrated 55 years. Uh, I was really fortunate to see my parents uh, before they passed into the gates of heaven, married 61 years. Amazing. All right, my verse comes out of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 25 and 26. Here we go. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with the water through the word. That's my G. As I get a grip on it, my R, my reveal is as a husband to Leslie for over 25 years, I still need to bring my A game day in and day out, especially by serving her in her love language. How many of you have heard about the five love languages? If you have not gone through that yet with your wife, I strongly suggest it by Gary Chapman, a game changer when you really find out how your wife really, really feels love and how you, as a guy, typically feel love. I'm going to take a pretty good shot at this is those two love languages usually never, ever match. So great book. Highly recommend it. Here's my eye. Implementation. Out of the five love languages, Leslie's most important is, number one, deeds around the house. Number two is quality time. So by doing yard work together, cleaning the garage together, or, or having me grill out and even helping out on Saturday mornings to clean the house, these are keys of filling her love language. All right. My P, my prayer back to God is this. Lord, fill me with your love that overflows into my marriage. Give me your eyes to see Leslie as you see her. And guys, if I could challenge you not only to get that book, learn about the five love languages, but really pray that prayer. Lord, give me your eyes to see my wife's name. Place it in there. I'm and to see her as the Lord sees her. Uh, very powerful, especially the first time I did it. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, let me close this out with a word of prayer and uh, pray that uh, you had a blessed weekend. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to come together. God, uh, as husbands, Lord, please help us to love our, li our wives well uh, throughout our lives, God. Um, there's times I know that we may blow it, we will blow it, but Lord, just help us to get back, um, bringing our A-games to love on our wives. You gave us such a great example, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you guys. Have an amazing day.